What's up, guys? Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sorg again with the one-man interviews. I have no cameraman. This is my hand. This is how far I can get away. Look who I found here strolling Cameraman through. and girlfriend. And, well, it's a long weekend. Well, Don't tell my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Take my wife, please. Uh, She's very nice and appro approves of my wrestling shows and, and, and coming along. And your, your habits. My habits. My habits, you, you know. Support your wrestling habit. So we're here at the WrestleCon. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. Uh... Seeing some old friends, it's like a high school reunion. Uh, you know, uh, you know, and I, you know, I had more fun here than I did in high school. So uh, I don't remember bleeding as much in high school. No, but uh, I probably should have. You know, just to get some sympathy. You know, get some better grades. But uh, no, I mean, it's great to meet the fans. I'm here with the uh, folks from BarbarCity.com, uh, the ECW documentary. Uh, and I'm here checking out, you know, the fine folks with the Montreal Theory. I'm definitely going to check out their documentary. I'm a big fan about. I'm a big fan of documentaries, uh, and what, you know, the, no matter, I'm just jet documentaries in, in general. It could be about anything, and I'll, and I'll be uh, sucked into the screen and watching. Uh, so uh, I'm here doing that with these fine folks, uh, meeting the great fans, doing a lot of good people watching. You know, because I'm a people watcher. And I'll, I can easily go to a, a mall, sit on a bench, and just watch people for a good two or three hours and be highly entertained. It's, it's, it's even better than a con like this. Yeah, it's amazing to watch people do stuff when they don't think they're being watched. You know, uh, which resulted in several restraining orders, but I can't talk about that on camera. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, man. I'm having fun. I'm wrestling, doing movies. Just did the Jerry Lynn retirement show, which went well, which... That show was everything independent wrestling should be. You know, the boys showed up, had a great time. Everybody got paid. Everybody wrestled. The house was sold out. Nice. And everybody went home happy. And, I'm, you know, I'm still buzzing from uh, the Jerry Lynn retirement show. I have to ask because we witnessed the uh, New Jack retirement last night, and he performed a rap song afterwards. Uh, did Jerry Lynn break out in, well, you know, Jerry Lynn, of course, Jerry Lynn we know is into the heavy metal. Uh, did he break out uh, with his uh, new band announcement as well? No, uh, uh, Jerry didn't break out in that rap. I tried to get it. Jerry has a very good uh, church lady dance. Uh, if you've ever seen it, I think he's okay. done it. I think he's done it in IWA Mid South with Chris Hero. Okay. But you know, just I tried to get him to do one last uh, church lady dance. Didn't work out. But what did happen was uh, a lot of love. Uh, we all came to the ring. We all took him up on our shoulders like Rudy. Uh, and you know, he, he, he said a farewell speech, and a few people, you know, praised him with, and deservingly gave him his praise because the man is too good for his own good, you know. And uh, he paid his dues, and you know, he earned the respect of the boys, and he respect, earned the respect of the fans, and he's one of the true good guys, you know. He's he's a, he's almost like a steamboat type where I can't see the guy ever being healed, or I can't see anybody ever hating Jerry Lynn. But uh, I'm honored that he asked me to be on the show. I mean, there's only a few shots, you know, spots you can have on a retirement show, and I'm very fortunate that he asked me, you know, uh, because I respected him his whole career and I followed his whole career. So excellent. Now I have to ask: we had some, we've had a few people on the show here. Do you recall an Eric Ecstasy out of Pittsburgh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's a story. I want to see if we can corroborate it here. I think, uh, I do think you know where I'm going with this, right? Okay, uh, okay. This is, uh, well, I believe it was still City WrestleFest a few years ago. You had a match with him. For That's cystic fibrosis show? Yeah, yeah. For, for, for cystic fibrosis. Exactly, exactly. So it was good for, for a good cause. Okay, you know. Uh, so I, I understand the match went short for some reason. Uh... I pooped my pants. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's cool if you poop your pants. Like we learned from, from Billy Madison, right? Well, it wasn't the first time either, okay. but I mean, uh, these things happen. I mean, think, people think wrestling's fake, you know, you, you hit a mat and it feels like, a, like an air cushion. And uh, sometimes it feels like you landed on, a, on your backyard deck. And uh, he, to he, I forget what he took me to the mat with, but... Uh, it killed. So, well, so there's no warning. Like there was no like pre -con pre condition. I felt great going into that match. I thought we were going to have an excellent match, and then uh, I took a bump and I took a dump, and uh, shit happens. 
There you go. And also, I have to point out, he's got this wonderful shirt here. I know we have some big fans of the uh, uh, Magnum TA. Yeah. I'm reading it backwards so it's in the camera, so it's kind of messing with me. I'm like, ah, that's not right. Fix it in post. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, so, so, so you're a big fan of the... Uh, are you a big fan of the mustache? Oh, the porn stash? Absolutely. I mean, that was the 80s. I mean, dude, dude had, to, had it going on, man. So uh, Magnum was a phenomenal talent, and it's a shame you know, how short his career was cut. Um, but uh, he seems to be doing well now. He seems, I see him on Facebook all the time, and he seems like he's with good people. Good. And uh, I'm happy. You know, if he's happy, I'm happy. You know, because the guy gave me years of entertainment. You know, he was phenomenal. Excellent. I got one last question here. This is the big question we ask it of everybody. A little bit of a personality test here. So, so Blue Mini, if you were a vegetable, any vegetable, which one would it be? I am a vegetable. But uh, if I could be any vegetable, uh, I would be a broccoli. Because broccoli is fuel for great farts. And, you know, I, know I, I hate to turn this interview... <laughs> I mean, this has been a very in the bathroom type interview, but I mean, you asked. You asked. Hey, it's where it goes. It's a, the show always ends up that way, right? I didn't think I was going to be talking about this stuff going into the interview. This certainly isn't Barbara Walters type stuff here, but no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. If I was, and broccoli's nutritious. You know, greens are good. So I'd be a broccoli. Excellent. Where can people check you out? Check me out on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash. The Blue Meanie, T H E E Blue Meanie. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Brian.Heffron, H E F F R O N. And uh, just click uh, the uh, subscribe part. So I'm already past, like, I hate that they have limits, yeah. but I'm past the limit. So you can hit, click subscribe and you can follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter. So it's all good. All right, thanks a lot. Blue Mini joining us on WrestleZone. Thank you.